So you guys are familiar with those prescription drug commercials on TV. They always bring up some sort of situation, some sort of illness that you know you may have or that somebody you know may have. Do you have trouble sleeping? Is insomnia keeping you up? Do you feel like you're not getting your six to eight hours of sleep each night? And they always present to you their product like as if, oh, if we take this, it's the miracle cure. We're gonna cure you of whatever. It'll go away immediately or shortly thereafter you take it. Now you can finally do something about it with Decevia. And then they tell you that all the good stuff that it does, you know, it'll make this go away. It'll make you feel better, like I said before. And which is great though. I mean, that, that's awesome. With Decevia, you can finally get that sleep you have been looking for. Decevia can easily correct the problem and finally give you the rest that you deserve. And everything is all nice and fine and dandy until they say this. Decevia is not for everyone. And have you noticed when they mention the side effects, it's always against some sort of peaceful or calm background or even random background. And it's almost like as if they're saying, oh yeah, there's side effects, but you know what? You're not gonna get them. And if you do, it's not that bad. Okay, so it comes with the territory. There's gonna be side effects and some of them have a short list. Side effects may include nausea, dry mouth, itching, having trouble breathing, diarrhea. Some of them have a longer list. Additional side effects may include gambling, nightmares, drowsiness, hallucinations, an urge to go hug people, the growth of an extra limb, thinking you are Batman, switching from Apple to Android, and vice versa. And some of them have a really, really, really long list. Other more severe side effects may include an urge to begin a YouTube channel, turning into a zombie, Minecraft division, for women, an erection lasting longer than four hours, for men, menstrual cramps and or PMS, alien abductions, contracting every phobia known to man, breaking a rift in the space-time continuum, and even death. And then that's when you realize, wait a second, aren't the side effects so much worse than the reason why I'm taking this in the first place? If you start believing that you are a Jedi Knight, please stop taking the Sevia. If you happen to die, please contact your doctor immediately. People on planet Earth should not take the Sevia. So the moral of the story is, if you're feeling bad, don't take something that's gonna make you feel a lot worse. Because we all know self-diagnosis is so much better than what the doctor tells us. Decevia, because we can get away with it.